Okay. We got our revenge. Even though she did sort of kind of in an indirect sort of way cure us from our infection, we still had to take her out. It's a matter of principle. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to try and do our next quest. We do have 28.2% infection. That is not good, ladies and gentlemen. That is really not good. But we're going to keep going until we have find some way to cure it or we die. Um, that's all we can do, right? So, yeah, um, let's get going. It's getting late in the day, but I'd like to see if we can uh, get this last quest nailed out i got um some red tea and some coffee cooking up and by the time this is done the fire should burn itself out so let's just let that continue running uh, and i think we're ready to go so yeah let's head on over it's not too far away from here uh where we're heading it's just uh just a little over 200 meters that way um so let's see we got a we got a yo zombo here so let's deal with him Go down. There you go. All right. And uh, let's just run on over here and see if we can do this. This is just a fetch quest, so we don't necessarily have to clear the whole place, but we do, of course, want to get to the fat loots if we can. Um, Should I? Yeah, I probably should. Let's heal up a little bit here because we're actually not in that great of shape health-wise. And I guess we can put this down here. I'm going to need to find some cloth bandages. Uh, or some cloth to make some regular bandages, just, you know, to help stop with bleeding if that happens. Uh, we got a working stiff store there. Yeah, we haven't even really explored. My, oh, well, that just popped in. Much of the town yet. Is that Deshong? No, I don't think so. I think that's a different building because Deshong's a little taller than that, I think. Huh. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's get on over here before it gets too much later. So this is Labor Day sale? Is that where we're going? No, we're going into this house. Uh, we got a bow zombo here. Let's see if we can get a preemptive off on him. Oh, man. This is terrible. Okay. Well, we could we can shoot him with this, I suppose. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's really important that I make contact because it, you know, not only does it do the bleed, but it also puts a, it slows him down by 10% too. Oh, I thought he was, oh, shit. I thought he was dropping down. Okay, he's dead. But now we're down to 36 health, which isn't good. As if I'm not stating the obvious, right? Okay. So let's just hop right on over here. We have no way to heal ourselves now. So yeah, <laughs> we're in bad shape. We are in really bad shape. But let's just do it. Let's do it and get her done. Okay. So we do have this shotgun here too. It's not going to do much for us at the moment just because we don't really have any shotgun skill. You know what? I should probably... Oh, I got a helmet light, too, by the way. We got we took got that as a reward last time. Uh, why don't we just drink this right now? Um, What was I going to say to you guys? I can't remember now. Uh, let's, let's, get, let's just get to the satchel first before we really try and do much else. And it looks like the satchel's up here. Hmm. So it's right over here. Are there zombos up here, though, is the question. Well, you know the answer to that. You know what we should do is... Right, there's nobody there. Satchel's here. Okay, so we've completed the quest. I got that out of the way. What I'm going to do is... Get some cloth from here and make some bandages, or a bandage. So if we get a, a bleed debuff, we can take that. 
Um, let's get our shovel out and grab some cobblestone whilst we're here. And we have, um, we have a little less than four in-game hours to get back to the house before the feral sense business starts up. So let's grab some frames here and just do a little bit of lock in here in case we need need to oh shit uh not good not good not good not good not good close that close that Whew. okay <laughs> that was close that was close okay so um i don't think i don't think he can really get out of there all right you know what i think we're gonna do i think we're gonna fudge a little bit just because it's really late in the day we've already We've already beat the quest, uh, or not beat the quest, but accomplished the quest is what I'm trying to say. So why don't we um, just bust in through here and see if we can get to the fat loots rather than go through the whole house. Normally I would, but I think at this point, but I heard footsteps outside. At this point, let's just see if we can grab the loot and then get the hell out of here. Because we also need to go back to the train and do our turn in, preferably do it before nightfall. Okay, good. We can do a sneaky sneak here. Give me my arrow back, man. Yeah, I think uh, Bo upstairs is... Okay, he bled out. He's pretty much just derping around up there. He's not going to be able to get to us. I can see that the Zombos don't appear to be smart enough to dig down still. Um, which is a little disappointing. They were they were the best I've ever seen them do uh, at digging down is in Alpha 17. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I say that all the time. But it it's it's really is the best I've ever seen them. And then they got a little dumber on Alpha 18 and a little dumber on 19. And now they're so far I haven't really seen their AI be all that smart. To be honest with you. Uh, oh shit, we need to make some more frame shapes. Let's make, um, let's make another 10 of those. And we want to change these two frames just because I'm old school, you know. Okay, so that's going to go down. And I'm assuming going down is probably what we want to do. Um, can we close this door? We can. Okay, that's good. Um, we've got Ronnie McDonnie over there, but we might not need to really go into this part of the house. It'd be kind of nice to loot the kitchen, but I think what we should do is just see if we can get to the fat loots, which I'm guessing are going to be in the basement since the pathing started us up at the top. I'm not familiar with this POI either. It does not look familiar to me at all. Oh, shit! I didn't even see him there. Okay. All right, let's deal with you first. Oh, no, no. Okay. It's time to go. It's time to go. We can come back later and get the fat loots out of here. We've, we've accomplished the quest. Yeah, with 18 health, that many zombos... I think we need to just skedaddle. We need to GTFO. All right, let's see if we can make back the trader, get our reward, and uh, we'll worry about maybe breaking in there later to get the fat loots. <laughs> if I was in better health, you know, I would do it, but I'm not. So let's avoid this dude. He's easy enough to outrun. Uh, we got two Eggers now. Man, sleepers all over the place. Oh, Darlene's going to be fast. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, we better pop one of these because I'm going to run out of stamina otherwise. No, no, don't slow down. What the hell, man? Keep running. Oh, 
<laughs> she got us. I was trying to turn around and take her down real quick with the with the auto or with the machine gun. Damn it, Jim. Ugh. All right, well, that takes care of our infection problem. Once again, I didn't plan on taking care of it by dying, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. Uh, the good news is, well, other than we're not infected anymore, is that we did accomplish the quest. We didn't fail that, so let's just get back out, get our stuff, and get to the trader before it gets any later. Ah, shit. Okay, so that's death number two for us. Let's hope that, that that's the last death we're going to have in this whole series. One can hope, right? Uh, yeah, Darlene, go to go away. What the hell? You're supposed to despawn after you kill me. <laughs> at least that's the way it used to be. All right, let's throw a rock at her. See if we can get her distracted. Yeah, there you go. Get the hell out of here, darling. Look at her jump up on a fence post. Okay. All right, let's grab our stuff. Oh, okay. Reload this. Okay, now you guys know, right? But I can't let Darlene get away with killing us. We have to get vengeance here. Well, if I could ever actually hit anything with this damn bow. <laughs> Come on, Darlene. Let's dance. You messed with the wrong old guy. Okay, we got our revenge, even though she did sort of kind of in an indirect sort of way cure us from our infection, we still had to take her out. It's a matter of principle. Okay, let's go do our turn in. Hello, traveler. Hello. Uh, Here you go, friend. I'm going to take the 9 mil ammo because we can use it in our pistol. Okay, let's see. What do you got for a new job for us? We got a fetch that's 398 and a clear that's 361. I Let's just gas. gas. Is that the same, the same one we did? There's a few different types of gas stations, so maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay, good enough. Uh, so let's see. We have two hours left of daylight, of in game daylight. Wonder if we should try and go back now that we're ha we have full health. Um, go back to our place and see if we can get into the basement to get the fat loots. Okay, so they never actually broke those. In fact, since we're not going in there at all, we might as well upgrade these. Oh, look at that. Cobblestone frames. How interesting. Can we put a frame down there? Yeah, we can. Okay, so... We don't have to immediately worry about anybody coming from that direction. Let's try this again. So we had businessman zombie just kind of gank us all of a sudden. I didn't even see him till he'd already hit us. I'm not sure exactly where he came from. Maybe he's up on that shelf there. Uh, let's get this ready, actually. Like. If we get in trouble, a spray and pray is probably going to help us a little better than a single shot shotgun. Yep. Okay. 
that didn't go so well. But we're still alive. That's the important thing. So I need to keep this door repaired and wait till that body despawns, and then I should be able to block it with this. Now, just in case someone shows up from that way, that's also... Okay, body's despawned. Um, I'm going to upgrade this to wood. Um, let's get rid of you. You're reloaded. Alright. Now, let's deal with these guys. Hey, I thought you were dead. Now you are. Oh, wait, are you? Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, let's get some bleeds going on these yahoos. Okay, still hear a zombo somewhere, but I don't know exactly where they are. Are they upstairs or downstairs? Let's get this reloaded. Um, I don't know. I can't tell. So let's just get this picked back up, and then we'll head down there with our our machine gun ready to go and see what happens. I think that zombie, wherever they are. Oh, there they are. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can at least soften him up. So if he comes down. Oh. Now he's doing his little his little uh, crouching thing. All right. Well, here. There, you have to break through that now too. Oh, he's coming around over here. Is he? Yeah, there he is. Okay. Right in the noggin. Okay, he did. Let's get our arrows from him. Uh, I can't put that there. All right, I think we'll be okay. Let's head on down here. And see what the deal is. Anything underneath these stairs? It doesn't look like it. Let's check this. See, it's pipes. Uh, we do need clothing still, don't we? Yeah. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, actually, I don't give a shit about that. I'm going to leave that where it is. Okay, there's a doorway there and some kind of business going in through here. We've got some cobblestone that we can get. Let's just put that there for a second. No, don't do that. Hmm. Maybe the fat loots aren't down here. All right, let's look back through here again. Well, that's interesting because we would have been coming down from the attic... to come down here, I would have thought. There's a person inside the fireplace with some dineros. Okay, so we would have come down there, down into here, into here and I guess we would have gone back upstairs then huh all right well let's do it then see what happens like I said I am not familiar with this POI so don't really know exactly what the deal is uh, we probably better break this out that's 1500 hit points son of a butch son of a butch a butch what the hell is that supposed to be <laughs> um all right, let me break this out instead. It wouldn't be a bad idea to keep this barricade here anyway. Um, we are almost at nighttime too, so yay. 
Yeah. Okay, that's going to be fun. Can we get up here? Okay. I'm going to set that there. Make sure everybody's loaded. The bad thing about the... Um... Whoa. About the machine gun is it really burns through our 7.62s fast. You're loaded. You're loaded. Okay. Is there going to be a zombadoodle in here? Don't think so, because we probably would have seen them. Hell, if I would have known we had to come this way, I would have just uh, broken down the front door. Okay. That zombie from the outside hurt us. It looks like we are free to move about in here. Oh, shit. That's just about broken. Here, let's repair it. In case somebody else comes. Oh, it's... I see. Okay. I'm going to upgrade this. And we'll help Edgar break this so we can kill him. So, one of you guys suggested to me in the comments that the feral sense only applies to actual feral zombies. And I, I, I don't know if that's true or not because I hear, I hear more. Yeah, a uh, yo just came in. He heard all this commotion, and uh, the, neither one of these guys are feral, so I'm not so sure if that's accurate. See, we got another one now. Because I think they're all here in the rat, the ruckus that we're making, you know. Somebody else is out there banging on stuff, too. All right, I want to get to the fat loots before we do anything else. And if we, you know, then maybe we'll... What am I wearing for shoes? Uh, let's check these. There might be some something better in there, like that, for example. Okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's get to the fat loots first before we do anything more. This goes into a bathroom, which is locked. Toilet pistol? Toilet paper. Not toilet paper, but toilet paper. Okay. Hoping we'd get medical bandages out of there, but we didn't. Okay, so how are we supposed to get from hither to yon? That door's locked. Hmm. Alright, let's just, uh... Pop through here, I guess. Well, that's that place. So are the fat the fat loots must be up in the attic then. There's no other place they could be. Alright, let's go back this way. Actually, hold on. While we're here, let's just loot a couple things. Oh nice. Very nice. I'll take that. Absolutely we'll take that. All right, what else? Uh, let's get the leather from the couches. I have no stone. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, man. Um. Okay, I'm going to scrap this because it's very easy to make. I'm going to make another one later. There we go. Okay. I think we looted everything else. Oh, look at this shenanigans up there. Hey. What's in here? Uh, that will scrap, and we'll take the rest of that stuff. Uh, 
Doesn't look like this leads anywhere other than just to that backpack, though. Nothing behind there. Let's check the sinks. Now, there's our cooking pot. <laughs> it's a little late now. A little late now, game. We could have used that a long time ago. Come on over here, Nurse Nancy. I'm still not debating whether or not we should even be calling her Nurse Nancy. Oh, she's a feral, too. There she comes. Have a bleed. Have another one. You scary, Nurse Nancy. Farmer Nurse Nancy. Alright. Let's not, uh... There she goes. Okay. So she did. Um, that might actually be our first feral kill of the, of the playthrough. We had a feral that attacked us the other night, but we didn't survive the attack. I'll take that. Uh, let's get our arrow back. Anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Crash can. All right, so we're going to have to go back upstairs, it looks like, to get to the fat loots. Um, so let's get back through here. Some trash. Uh, d -d 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 yeah, I guess I'll take that. You know what, though? We're going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of one chrysanthemum. We're going to scrap that. We're going to get rid of those. I think I'm going to scrap this, too. We're not... We're not really using the sledgehammer, and we can scrap these two. Okay. Um. So, oh, I know what I I scrapped my shovel. I was <laughs> I was gonna get some of this some of this cobble, but I guess we're not. Not I guess we're not gonna get it this time. Let's get some cloth and wood from here, and then we're gonna have to go back up in the attic. I don't think there's any two ways about it. The question is, should we go up this way from the garage or up that other ladder? I don't know. Let's go up this way again, I guess. You know what else we should do in case somebody comes in from down below? Make sure they can't get to us. Okay. So we got attacked by a bow... The last time we came up here. Zombie bow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zombie bow. Where's zombie bow? Where's he at? Okay, our frames are still there. Can we hit him through this? Nope. Well, that works. That works. Okay, we got somebody down in the garage. Where in the hell are the fat loots in this place? I'm like really corn fused. What's out on the other side of this wall? Another room. Oh, I'll bet that other ladder leads up here. Yeah, and now, now that I think about it, that's exactly what happens. Okay, so there might be some nasties in here. Let's uh, open this crate right now. See, I, I was thinking that this ladder, the other ladder wrapped around to the same attic, but... Oh, nice. Yes, please. Thank you very much. You know what? We don't need this. Let's scrap it. That'll save us up, save us a spot. Okay, now the question is... There's some ammo there that we'll take. Um, I guess we'll pop this board out and then... Jump up in there and get ready with the machine gun in case uh, there are more Zika Ruskies in there. Yeah, we should have gone up that other ladder, but like I said, I thought it just was part of the overall attic. But I should have realized it wasn't when 
you know, because we have the vaulted ceiling in here. But that's okay. Now we know for next time. Any bad guys in here or gals? I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Working stiff box. Nice. We finally got ourselves an iron pickaxe. I will take that. We got some food down here. And the fat loots. Give us something good, game. Uh that's good. I will take that. We're gonna we're hanging on to the armor until we can get a full set before we transition to heavy armor. Okay. Not too bad, you guys. Not too bad overall. Can't complain too much. Uh, I wish the I, I kind of wish I had my shovel on me, but I guess we can always come back here later. Uh, we might as well harvest the cloth and wood from this. And yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape now. Let's drop down here. And we got an Edgar causing problems through here, so let's take him out. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. He did. Okay. Um, since we have this, I'm going to actually harvest this brass. All right, guys. Um, if I was not encumbered, I'd probably take a chance and try and run back to the base. But I have no real pressing reason to get back there before morning. So I think I'm going to just spend the night in this house here um and you know we got some some food let's just eat it right now because we need to and we got stuff to drink so you know we're not gonna die of thirst or anything and i think what i'll do is just yeah hang out here tonight and then in the morning i'll head back to the house drop stuff off maybe just kind of piddly fart around the house for a little bit until 6 a.m when the trader reopens and then we'll start the next episode with the next quest now one of the things if you guys didn't know this about alpha 20 is as soon as you finish the tier one quest your the 10 tier one quests you get the option of a bicycle as a reward so we've done um one two three four this will be our fifth so that's why i want to keep hammering out these tier one quests uh for that reason because then i don't have to make one right uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.